Okay guys, this week is a pretty important week because we have had to do a lot of work to this van. You've seen in our last video that we made it all the way back from Greece to the UK and by some miracle we managed to pass our MOT. <laughs> Past. And I wish I could say that this week was quite as successful as that, but um, we've had quite a lot of fails. Yeah, this wasn't a success, guys. This wasn't a success, and it wasn't a success. But thankfully, we have also fixed quite a lot of stuff and done one big upgrade that I really can't wait to show you guys. Guys, this is going to revolutionize our life. So let's get stuck into the video. Since it's good weather, we thought we'd utilize it and spare bumpers. Get together. Getting ready to give our girl a bit of a gussy up. She deserves a facelift, she's got us through a lot and uh, I'm just treating her for getting through MOT. Will I treat you with a facelift? <laughs> oh. Shake weight. <laughs> Shake weight is the flab busting breakthrough that trims your arms and shapes your shoulders at the same time. Uh, let us know in the comments if you think it's a bad idea. Oh guys, every time we try to improve something we make it worse. We might end up with one really black back corner and then give up. Right then. The tape's annoying, Matt. I you wanna... tell that box. <laughs> we need a lot more boxes. That is sexy. That'd be like half a tin on one part. <laughs> oh, just got a little bit on this over there. It's gonna be unrecognizable. Look, you're in a good mood. I'm actually so buzzed. So apparently, it says that one tin would do a bumper of a car, so we bought two. But we probably forgot that it was a van. <laughs> yeah, we need maybe five. But check it out. Look how tidy that is. So yeah, I'm really keen to just go buy more. I just want to do it. I'm like actually so buzzed. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Good morning, guys. This stuff has been elusive. Yeah, guys, we had to go to four different shops on the fifth one. That was like an hour and a half drive away to finally find this stuff and also wait for a dry day. So this is flipping happening. OK, I don't care how cold it is. It needs to happen. Unhinged. I am. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we just want to finish the van, man. The weather here is so temperamental. It's really, really grinding on me. <laughs> so, yeah, I woke up in bed at like 7 a.m. to like the van rocking side to side and it was like Keely <laughs> trying to tape up the van. So I'm very, very, very excited, but very nervous that the weather could shift at any time. We're turning the van because the minimal amount of sun we need needs to be shining on the area that I'm trying to paint. It is absolutely Baltic right now. Do not let this sun fail you. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Guys. She is not shut up about it, wanting to spare these bumpers. Show you know people what? how sexy the bum is. You know what? I'm just going to let her do it. So this is where we left you guys off. As you can see the difference, Martha's booty and her side panels. Did you watch a YouTube tutorial on how to stick on masking tape? <laughs> um, shut up. <laughs> I hate the rain. This Please. looks like something from a cartoon. Please stay away, wind. Please. What's wrong, guys? I just, I just got a drip. It's not funny. It's literally sunny and it's starting to rain. Philly, it's raining. I, <laughs> I'm furious at Northern Ireland right now. I mean, I literally can't even. Philly, it's, it's raining. Where's the clouds? Give me another coffee. I'm actually gonna cry. I'm so annoyed. So this has been our struggle for the last like two weeks since we got home. Guys, honestly, you know we took a week off because our hard drive and then we did a Q&A and we've literally just been trying to do a bumper. But exciting news, irregardless of the fact I'm really angry inside right now. Um, today we are also hopefully getting our side door fixed mm -hmm. so that is a very positive exciting thing because you know how long we've been struggling yeah. with this it's gonna be a big job guys but yeah i'm so excited to get it done man yeah there's a lot can go wrong in this let's cross our fingers and hope that everything goes right it's philly and keely <laughs> when does everything just go right let's get a coffee and hope this rain buggers right off man While the coffee brews, 
enough. Let's talk to Keely. I'm I'm actually so annoyed. I'm reading this can and it specifically says warm, dry. Do not spray in cold, damp weather. I mean, it's literally raining. It said that I had three hours of bright sunshine this morning and it lied and it's damp and it's miserable and I'm literally really annoyed. This is like the third time I've taped off the whole bumper and had to take it off because it started raining and I'm starting to become mentally unhinged. As much as I love our family and friends, uh, a beach in Greece was much nicer. Yeah, man. Guys, we've got a split second of blue. I I'm taking advantage because I'm literally just so triggered right now. <laughs> I'm just doing it. Put in the comments now, is this a mistake? Aww. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, it's a bit wet there. It's getting a bit patchy. On the one hand, it looks sick. And then on the other hand, it looks terrible because it's so cold that it's not drying and then the paint's starting to like run. Whereas when we did it the other day, it like dried instantly. Mm -hmm. So what does it say in the instructions? Not to do it in the cold. Okay, so why did you do it in the cold? But because what's our option? It's raining for another week. This was literally the only window of sunshine. Let's just see how it dries, if it dries. And uh, come look at how nice it looks apart from the big drippy bits. Do any of you guys also have the problem of when you try to fix something that's not broken, you usually make it worse? That happens to us a lot. We seem to have that problem. Martha looks like a Robocop. So this hasn't went very well. I felt a drip of rain. Don't believe the sun. The sun looks like it's out. It's not out. It's really, really, really annoying me. I'm actually going to be honest. This is probably the most triggered I've ever been. It's a half finished job. It's patchy and it looks shit, but I literally can't trust this weather. Yeah, this wasn't a success, guys. This wasn't a success and it wasn't a success. Guys, I swear on my life. Sun shining. I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna finish off these bumpers this second. I get the can out, it's, ra it's raining. It's raining on me. It's raining on me. You're making me angry. Oh, am I? <laughs> oh, I literally can't even. Good morning, guys. That's not outside Haley's mum and dad's house, I hear you say. Well, we're on location today, so let me tell you a story. So one of the major upgrades that we wanted to do to Martha before we took her out again was to replace this double seat with a single seat. In Ireland, our options are limited. Mm -hmm. So anytime we're looking on eBay, Gumtree, Facebook, it was given a single seat in England. Yeah, we've also called quite a lot of breakers and scrapyards and Northern Ireland does not seem to have a van breaking scene. So then we thought we had the really smart idea to cut this double seat in half down here <laughs> and then just stitch this up. Like how hard can it be, right? But then after you've seen the disaster of the bumpers, we decided maybe not to do something like that. Yeah, because as you know guys, anything we start to try and fix, it just usually ends up going wrong. So you guys will be glad to know that we've decided not to cut it in half and um, <laughs> we are going to instead purchase a single driver's seat. Long story short, that's why we were in a random car park this morning because we decided to stay up near the breakers yard so woo, go us. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness, can we please just be still for a split second? Like a brand new seat. I'm not gonna lie, it looks tidy. And we also got this base as well. Kelly, you're gonna have a little tray to put your. Look at this luxury life we're stuff. gonna be living. I'm excited, man. Martha's got new threads, baby. All right, so we're back in the driveway. We should probably shout out to your mum and dad for letting us do everything or anything that we want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the front of their house. Yeah, we appreciate it. Okay, so on the way back from the place where we grabbed the seat, we stopped and got our wheels aligned because it was veering to the left after we got our back. So fingers crossed that that is fixed now. Yeah. But I'm so, so excited to fit this seat. Like, look how incredible this is. It's in such good condition. Guys, you know we made you vote because I didn't want a single seat and you all said single seat and I gave in to peer pressure. And guys, you were right. 
Millie yeah. was right. Of course. I was wrong. Thanks, guys, for always being on my side. I appreciate I know. that. Every time we do votes, people agree with you. That's because I uh, make the most logical and like the best decision. <laughs> so I've emptied all the crap out of the front of our van. I do have a fire extinguisher. Uh, Tom and Is lost in transit. Uh, we bought two the last time we, we were in, so this one's yours. So you have to come and get it. <laughs> Okay, so obviously we're putting in a single seat. There's going to be a situation with the belt buckle and everything, but we're going to figure that out at the end. First step first is to get this big one out. First step is to drink coffee. And then get the double out. Guys, this is going to revolutionize our life. We're feeling confident, guys. Yeah? I mean, the seat's out. The seat Already? Oh, what? Oh, what? Okay, so one thing we should have took out is this. Our diesel heater is plumbed in there. Well, you made that look easy. Double seat for a Citroen Mini for sale, 100 quid. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Oi. I didn't know you knew how to use one of them. Shut up. Guys, things have escalated. So Philly, as the driver, the one who needs to be the most comfortable, is getting the lush new seat. I feel bad. No, you don't. I wouldn't appreciate it. You would appreciate it. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh no, that's firm. I've got lumbar support on both sides coming up here. It's all about that lumbar support. And this. What is a lumbar? Look at this here. It's got nothing left in it. Yeah, you have the good one. And yeah, you get a new armrest and all. What is <laughs> Martha, you are looking fine. Okay guys, all five bolts are in. The airbag is reconnected. Now for the moment of truth, uh, whether Philly actually likes this seat. Very hard, but it's got great lumbar support. <laughs> now let's actually get the single seat in, which was kind of the whole point. Yeah. All right, now putting this new base in. It's two of these big bolts and it just slides into these like two catches and then you bolt it in the front. That's it. So I did actually watch a YouTube video on a guy that installed this seat. I'll link his video down below if anybody is interested in doing this kind of thing. What's going on? Um, I'm about to try the seat. I mean with your hair. Oh, I just, I need a, I can't find my hairbrush so I'm not ready to tackle washing it. So it's been a while. You need a lawnmower for that thing. <laughs> Do you want me to try the seat or not? I can see right through to the back. That's the whole idea. Oh, it's a bit weird. Are your feet dangling? Just a little bit. It's a bit higher than my seat. You can you can adjust that. So pull it out and sink your bum into the seat. Let me pull it out. Is it doing it? I don't think it's doing it. Oh, I did it. Oh yeah, there. Now I touch the ground, and then I make this one go back a little. How do I do that? Oh. Yeah, good. Then you can put the other one up a bit. I feel like I'm like. Can I go for a nap? This is great. I did not have any adjustability in my double seat. Felly, look. You can slide. <laughs> I've just like leveled up my quality of chill. And you didn't even want to. Uh, take your feet off the dash. Okay, sorry. This is, oh my word, like look at this level of slouch I can get going. You can get the slouch on. Uh, ignore the mess, right? Come at me, come at me, bro. Billy, I just walk. I'm not sure how I feel about this. This is almost a bit too easy. It's a proper conversion here. Ow! Oh, I'll have to get used to that. This is so weird. It's like, I know it's good, but it's also like really unfamiliar. So just take a minute to adjust to it. I can see our radio. Oh my word, like it's just so much easier. Like if our drawer falls open, where do you see this? Quick, and then just goes quickly, quickly. Done. Seconds. So the last thing we need to do in this is just make sure that the seat belt buckle is installed on the other side. This is what's going to save your life. There's two bolts in here that control the reclining. One goes in here and one goes over here. So we've taken both of those out and we've replaced it with this threaded bar. That just gives us a bolt that comes out so we can slot this. And then we bolt that on. For everyone, let's see if this works. The moment of truth. Oh, the moment of truth. Okay. Check it out. How tidy is this? Just sneaks out here. Uh, Mama, are you impressed with your children? 
I am totally impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're totally wonderful. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my mum came in after watching our Q&A and told me she was proud of us, so that was a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Keep her sweet. Yeah. Get my seatbelt on. Oh, what are you doing? That's a bit much. Why am I going so far back? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Because you know it went this... <gasps> How did I have what I know? Philly, did you know this? It's a bit much now. I'm going to start inverting. <laughs> okay. Philly! Oh my word. This is, we've just found a new single bed for our friends. <laughs> Billy, something actually went right. I can't believe it. I'm actually slightly emotional. Can't believe something actually worked out. That's amazing. I'm so chuffed for that. Guys, get a single seat in your van. It only took us three years to get one in. This place is a mess. We're gonna tidy it up. We're gonna get some food. Yeah, and then we'll pick these up tomorrow because we have a lot more stuff to get done in this van. We can take something else. That wasn't even on our list. We can add that to our list and then, and then take, take it, it off. off. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We just woke up. I've made the bed. Keely is cleaning tiles behind me. I'm wiping. She's wiping. <laughs> uh, oh, she's got a cough as well. I do. I've got a bit of a cold right now, but I oh, okay. darling. All we have to do to the van is like organise it and fix a few things, and we just want to be on the road. Yeah, we do. But it's more than just organise and fix. It's quite a lot to get this girl ready to leave. They're over here. Oh, sorry. It's quite a lot to get her ready to leave. In fact, it's feeling quite overwhelming right now. And there's some stuff I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get done. So we need to I mean, hurry the frig up and organise this van because it's driving me insane. <sighs> Let's do something. Let's do something. Like, seriously, I need to do something. I'm going in crazy. <laughs> Are you okay there? I'm actually, I'm not okay. Being home, love family, great. I'm not okay. I need to go. <laughs> Anyway, on the agenda for today, we have emptied the van already, so all we need to do is like sort stuff out as we're putting it back in. All we need to do, that's a big job guys, we have a lot of stuff. Yes, yes we do. It is spring clean. It actually is a spring clean. You know what you're doing? You're talking to the camera and avoiding actually doing any bloody cleaning. So like, let's stop chatting and start doing. <laughs> I just want to spend time with you guys, sorry. <laughs> sorry? Doing a good job there. <laughs> Honestly, if I looked up and you were talking to that camera again, I was going to slap you. What do you mean? Please, can we just get some stuff done, please? Okay guys, so what you didn't see was we also have taken the van to the garage to deal with this side door situation. You guys know we've been having leaks. It doesn't fully sit flush at the top. We pulled out the pillar and tried to get that in line, but to make the door fit, it needs to be bent itself. But because we've got a window put in, it's a bit risky. There's a risk of breaking the window and we don't have time to take the window out and reinstall it and stuff. So for us going on this trip, we've decided we're just gonna get a little bit of a quick fix. We're on the inside now. You can see that you're getting daylight through there. So our goal is to pull this in. We're trying to figure out where to fit this ratchet strap. We're thinking like here and then we can like pull it nice and tight, chink, chink, chink. And it's basically just to make it stop looking gappy when we're away from the van. And guys, uh, you have to forgive and ignore the absolute chaos that is us trying to organize this van right now. Because we're trying to do so many things at once, everything's a bit carnage. I just wanted to show though, up here where this silver is, we previously had this plastic cladding but unfortunately it's all got damaged while we were trying to fix the door. So instead we have got some ply that Philly has cut. I have painted, got some nice white curves on that. Look at that baby. So this is gonna go up here, hopefully look nice and tidy. So guys, things are happening. This, this video is probably very chaotic. We're doing so much stuff. We're really trying to get ourselves ready for leaving. We're just ready, you know? So you can see the method in my madness, right? Yeah, I explained. Well, we're not sure this is going to work, guys, but let's see. Okay, so obviously it's twisted and stuff, so I'll fix that, but it does feel like it's pulled it in quite a lot. Shall we go outside and see if it's pulled it in? Look at that. Flash. So while Philly goes and notches out the space in that ply so we can get it to fit nice, I am focusing on our LED strip lights from the kitchen. As you can see, these are very yellow. They were originally white, but they've got very stained from 
being above the hob. So we have got fresh backup strips that we had from before. So I'm gonna sort that out, hopefully get a nice white glow in our kitchen. I thought I would plug a fresh one and the old one into each other. And where do you say this? Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think they're too white. That's very white. Oh guys, we are both absolutely shattered. We've been spending like the last two days just trying to organize stuff. It's one of those things where it looks so much worse before it starts looking better to the point where I don't even know what we've done. As you know, we put the single seat in, tied it up around the bottom of it. We fixed this net curtain that had been split before. We fixed the top panel of our side door. We installed that little ratchet strap. So like things are happening. We are making progress, even though it might seem that we're not. <sighs> Good morning everyone, uh, today is a new day, it's a brand new day, it's a fact, mm -hmm. the coffee is brewing and you know what that means, that means it's business time. It's business time. Oh, oh. So today is a day where we're going to repack the van. Yeah, we're going to hopefully finish off this list, this giant so mammoth we have list. A list? From last week, guys, this list. <laughs> Every time we come home for MOT, we like to empty the van and reduce the amount of clutter that we have. So we take everything out, sift through it, and then put it back in. But what I will say is I'm so chuffed about how this seat has turned out. The single seat's the vibe. Look at you. Look at me. And then I can just do this. Perfect. <laughs> ah, it's looking sleek. It's looking tidy. And uh, considering that fixing the side door did not succeed, I feel like we're just going to hop in and out this <laughs> a yeah. lot. It's business time. Actually, it's coffee time, and then it's business time. Drippy, drippy, drip. Guys, I know we give Northern Ireland a bad rep for having crappy weather, but look at these skies. Can you believe that? Yeah, the last few days have been great. So we got our hopes up and looked at the weather for going on a little trip next week. And uh, it's due to rain every day. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> uh, first things first, the boulder mat the single most awkward thing in our van. Guys, did you know we have e-bikes? Um, do I look like a musician or what? <laughs> <laughs> do you look like a musician? I look so cool. <laughs> Trying to figure it out, it's kind of like Tetris, you know, just to figure out what way is best. <sighs> Tennis rackets. Guys, when in the last two years of us making videos have you seen us play tennis? Is this coming or not? What is it? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? I know, I was gonna, I was actually <laughs> gonna come out and make a joke, guys, and be like, what's this, Philly? <laughs> <laughs> I just need to keep it somewhere visible. Like, or else I'll never, ever, 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 ever <laughs> use it. So I don't know where it's visible, but yeah, I need to stretch my body. I'm an old woman right now. With you a are an old woman. Back. You are actually an old woman. What can we do? What can we do? Maybe yeah, I'll trade you in for a new model. Unlikely. No Is your wee one, sister no single? One would <laughs> okay, so we'll find somewhere for this, yeah? How are you feeling? Are you ready? Are you ready to hit the road? Um, Start that engine, let's go! Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost ready. I'm really glad we've packed it. We definitely have a couple of little tiny things that we want to do. Fix our blinds, fix this little bit of wood. But there are jobs that can be done on the road, guys. So we've got a couple of packages we're waiting for just to fully upgrade the van and then hit the road. And uh, we've no idea what road we're hitting and where it goes. Yes, we have no idea what we're doing, but we are excited. No matter what is in store for us, we're ready to face it. 
Yeah. With a new single seat. <laughs> <laughs> and a clean curtain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, guys, we don't know where we're going. We're very, very, very open to ideas. So let us know in the comments. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. But for now, we're going to enjoy the freshly packed, freshly clean and organized van. And uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll catch I'm you sorry. next time. <laughs> That's my face. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 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 All right